here are the video uh, solutions for the practice on the Unit 1, 2 D geometry translations. So, here we have an original shape pre-image and then a new shape post-image. We know the difference because here we have Z, K, and I guess it's an I, and here we have K prime, it's got that little apostrophe, Z prime with the little apostrophe, and I prime with the little apostrophe. So we know from our notes from today that that means prime, that means it's the new image. So write a rule to describe each transformation. So technically, I'm going from the pre-image here, we'll take Z, and going to the post-image here, Z prime. So what am I doing? Well, I'm going first right or left, so I'm going to the right, and then I'm going down. So to write your rule, you know that you're doing something with the X and something with the Y. So what am I doing with the X? I'm going to the right, so we know that's plus, and I'm going one, two spots, so that's plus two. Okay, what am I doing with the Y? I'm going down, so we know that's minus, and I'm going down one spot, so that's Y minus one. And there you go. Your rule is done. So number two. So here we have two parallel or trapezoids. So if I see it correctly, I'm going here's a T, and here's T prime. Now I don't have to use all of the points. I only need to go from one letter to its prime to get the rule. So in this instance, I'm going to the left, and then I'm going up. Because we always do left or right first and up or down. So I have my X. I'm going to the left, which means I'm minusing, and I'm going to the left just one spot. Okay, then I'm going up, which means I'm adding, and I'm going up one. Okay, if you forgot, left, if I'm doing X, and I'm going to the left, it's minus. Okay, if I'm doing X, and I'm going to the right, it's plus. You can write this down as notes. Okay, if I'm going Y, and I'm going down, it's minus. If I have Y and I'm going up, it's plus. Okay, number three. So here we have U, the original, and here we have U prime. So this is pretty simple. I'm going from here to here. So what am I doing with the X? Well, I'm going to the right, so that's plus, and it's one space. I'm not going up or down at all. So that means the Y just stays the same. Okay, um, here's my original triangle, here's A, so I'm going right here to A prime. So I'm going, it looks like, to the right, and then I'm going down. So what's my rule? Well, what's happening to the X? I'm going to the right, we know it's plus, and I went one spot. Okay, then what am I doing with my Y? I'm going down, so we know it's minus, and it's one, two, three spots. Okay, number five, here's my original shape, it looks like, up here, H, and here's my new one, H prime. So I'm going to the left, and then I'm going down. So it looks like my rule will be X, going to the left is minus, and I'm going one, two spots, and then I'm going down, which means it's minus, and I'm going down one, so Y minus one. Okay, number six. Okay, here's B, and here's B prime. So what am I doing? It looks like I'm just going straight up. So we know that I'm not going left or right, so X stays the same. And I'm actually going up, so it's Y plus, and how many? One, two, three, four. So Y plus four. And we're done. Okay, next one. Find the coordinates of the vertices of each figure after the given transformation. So I did this in class today, and I was telling you that sometimes we don't have the actual picture or coordinate plane of the object. Right? Sometimes we have to show or prove things mathematically. I can't build a, a building, like I said in class, and then have a tornado come and hit it and then say, oops, it didn't work. I have to prove that it'll hold up to those winds before I build it. So sometimes we have to do things with numbers and symbols. So here I have my four points. They're my pre-image. I need to find the four new points that are Q prime, D prime, V prime, 
and J prime. So, first I have to start with my rule. My rule says that I'm going two units left, so that means I'm going x minus 2, and then I'm going one unit down, so I'm going y minus 1. So then all I do is I'm going to take each of my x's and substitute in for this x here in that expression and solve it, or I mean simplify it. So what do I have? I have over here 0 minus Oops, 0 minus 2, then I have negative 2 minus 2, okay, then I have this 2 minus 2, and then I have that 3 minus 2, so these are all my x's. Then I do the same for the y. The y's, I'm going to take each of my y's right here and substitute in for this, so I'm going to subtract 1 each time. So I have negative 1 minus 1, then I have that 2 minus 1, then I have that 4 minus 1, and then 0 minus 1. And then we just do each, each one. So let's go ahead and do our same chain switch just to, make, just to make sure here we do it correctly. Okay? Those minuses mess this up. I should have probably been able to draw it bigger, but I'll have to do it this time. So I have 0 and negative 2. So this x right here is going to be negative 2. I have negative 2 plus negative 2, so that's going to be negative 4. So that's going to be my x there. I have 2 plus negative 2, so that's going to be 0. I have 3 plus negative 2, so that's going to be 1. Okay, now let's do our y's. Negative 1 plus negative 1, that's going to be a negative 2 for this point. 2 plus negative 1, it's going to be a positive 1 for this point. 4 plus negative 1 is going to be 3 for this point. 0 plus negative 1 is giving me negative 1 for that point. So there's my new coordinates of my post image. All right, so number 8. All right, so we have our rule. Okay, 2 units down, that means I'm not doing anything to the x, but my y is going down 2. So there's my rule. So now we're going to take x and y, and we're going to substitute them into each part. Well, we know the x's are going to stay the same, all right? So I don't do anything here. So I know that's going to be negative 4, that's going to be negative 2, that's going to be negative 1, and that's going to be negative 1. Okay, my y's, however, I have to subtract 2. So I take each of my y's, and I subtract 2. So there's 1 minus 2, 5 minus 2, 4 minus 2, and 2 minus 2. So I'm going to get my new points. Down here would be my D prime, I'd have my A prime, I'd have my S prime, and my N prime. All right, we know X is negative 4, and then 1 minus 2 is 1 plus negative 2, so that's negative 1. Done. I know my X is negative 2, and in this instance I can do 5 minus 2 without doing the same change switch, that's 3. Okay, S prime, I know my X is negative 1, and I have 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay, and prime, I know my x is negative 1, and I have 2 minus 2, which is 0. Okay, I'm going to let you guys do 9 and 10 on your own, because this is important to be able to do without my help sometimes. So just look at how I did here. If you need to, rewind the video. Check it again. Okay, these are just like the first ones. So I'm going to go, uh, let's just go uh, Q, and that looks like, no, actually this is Q prime, and this is regular Q. So I'm going from here up to here. So we're not moving left or right, so I know my x is the same. And I'm moving up 1, 2, 3, 4, so we know that's going to be y plus 4. Okay, and this is the last one I'll do here, 12. Here's d, and here's d prime. So I'm going from here to there. So I know I'm going to move to the right, and then I'm going to move down. So moving to the right means I'm adding, and how many did I add? 1, 2, 3. Okay, and then when I went down, I know that's subtracting, and how many did I subtract? Three. So there we go. You can finish off 13 and 14 of your own. Again, if you're stuck, go back and rewatch the video. Okay, good job.